Vriedi li ova kartitska. Vriedi li And what's up, boys? And welcome to one of the more requested and one of the more unexpected cards I was thinking uh, or I was expecting to do in FIFA 20. Uh, my first ever storyline card. Today, we are going to be looking at the 87 storyline Ivan non upgradable. That's the first thing I should mention. Uh, at the start of the game, we had this idea that that Zaha and that the other card were going to be upgradable. I even think EA might have said something along those lines that they might be upgradable or something or the other. Uh, but then they came out in short order after and said that the storyline cards are not like the league player cards. So the Politano, who looks very similar, they're different card types, obviously. Uh, Politano will have an opportunity for an upgrade at a later point, but this uh, uh, this 87 storyline Parasitch will not, nor will the Mishi Bachwai, who is the other option alongside him. So, and I know a lot of you guys out there right now are grinding some XP to get to this Parasitch, so I know a lot of you guys are very interested to see how this card performs. But uh, we're going to see how it plays. Boys, if you guys are excited and sorry if my voice is lost, I streamed pretty late last night, uh, and I actually... Actually, I have no idea why my voice is uh, is sounding weird right now. Maybe I'm getting a little bit sick, but that's neither here nor there. We are here to look at, like I said, the Storyline 87 Parasit. So if you guys are excited for this epi, drop a mad lad like on the video per usual. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, at the start of the week, I had something like 12,000 XP. He requires something like 40k. So I started on Monday or Tuesday grinding for this card. It is now Saturday. We managed to get all that XP in about a week's time. So... It's not impossible by any means. Um, like I said, I didn't grind any of the objectives. Uh, I didn't grind any of the objectives tryharding until about Monday or Tuesday of this past week. So uh, just to give you guys a little bit of uh, inspiration, maybe a little bit of hope uh, for those of you guys that think you're out of the uh, out of the running for the card. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely, definitely possible. So um, we've got the 87 Parasitch. Now, the reason I looked at this Parasitch card and I thought to myself, you know what? This would be a sweet ass card to have uh, on the RTG account was mainly because his 84 is such an over powered card anyway this 87 parasit sees himself get a 92 total in game stat upgrade tons of stats go from yellow to green goes up to like 92 stamina nuts has the five star weak foot four star skill moves um uh medium medium work rates i didn't find to be too much of an issue we played one game with him in foot champs and he scored two goals our first game of foot champs he comes in and scores uh two goals in a match where we won three one so uh he helped us out in our first match 100 and it's when we go over and we look at the stats that things become very interesting 87 acceleration 90 sprint speed don't feel like i need to jack that off at all already has really really nice attack and positioning finishing goes up massively up to 95 uh sorry 96 with the sniper chem style uh has enough shot power with 88 that's something that gets uh that's something that gets boosted massively as well passing stats are pretty good or decent 87 crossing obviously is a winger dribbling stats goes up to 90 agility with the chem style goes over 80 with the uh with it goes over 80 bounce with the sniper chem style and then ball controls 89 dribbling and that's even before the chem style boost so very very good agility ball control dribbling for his height being 6-1 and then 92 stamina with 78 strength if you choose a different chem style maybe a hawkeye um You've got a guy that's very fast and very strong as well, but I decided to go with the uh, the sniper because uh, my team of burner is the burner, but 90 pace is not slow by any means. So this is the Yvonne Parasic that we've got ourselves here. We've thrown him into the squad, and for those of you guys that haven't been watching the streams where I do, like, literally 90% of the stream is me playing Weekend League, uh, doing some Rivals objectives, grinding XP, doing SPs, uh, SBCs, uh, and then really just trying to get the, the most out of my no money in, no FIFA point in RTG, and uh, two and a half months since the start of FIFA, but this is what our team is looking like and is one of my favorite teams I think I have ever had. Got our 4 4 2 set up. And yeah, Perisic left striker, Werner right striker, Kai, Witzel, and then Modric is the odd man out. So I think we have to sub out. I think we're subbing out Modric. Match number one, e demo. The one thing that I wasn't able to do, there's one XP objective. I don't know if it's in, in gold or something. There is one XP objective that requires you to score a bicycle kick in squad battles on semi-pro. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do it, boys. Serge Gnabry. Timo Werner, 
Weapon bloom, it's gotta be the, the most stupidest! It's gotta be so stupid! Can someone explain to me why that didn't go to Parasitch? My, I think my biggest, outside of like server stability and stuff like that, by the way, really nice blast from, uh, really nice blast from Mrs. Kitts. Most of the time, my, my passes get to the intended player, but in that situation right there, where I had a Parasitch, where literally, literally it was such a basic, such a basic pass, it just never gets there. <laughs> Hey, I... Oh, my two biggest issues in FIFA 20 Showing up literally just seconds apart Again, that's one that should have been a goal That had nothing to do with Perisic That had everything to do with just dumb AI blocking Come on, boys For being down 1-0, I'm feeling really good about how the squad's playing Seven shots, five on target the one cross to Perisic, that should have been a goal. Should have easily, easily been a goal. Um, what was the other one? The other one was... Oh, yeah, the uh, the AI block. If we don't get a goal here by the 70th minute, we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch the 4-4-2. But, I mean, like, look. We got seven shots, five on target. We're creating chances, boys. We got seven shots, five on target. We're creating chances, boys. Sometimes just, that's, how, that, that's just how it goes sometimes, dudes. This Mendel Neuer is, dude. What am I playing? Es un artista con la pelota. Está intentando por el costado. La tiene Perisic. Ahí está para cruzarla. There we go. That's what we we're looking for. Body faint, and then the uh, the heel flick, and then he had no chances. Nicolas Sula is too powerful. Perry's got 94 pens. He chose the right side too. Kai Havertz. Pity seats. Is that game? Hey, you want to know what? You can't win them all. 1-1 one, one is not a fair result. That is not a fair result whatsoever. Given the shift that we put in with our boys, that's not fair at all, dude. I think I had something like 10 shots on target. Perisic gets himself the one goal. Uh, obviously, from the pen, he deserved to take it because he drew. The, he got the pen as well. AI blocking isn't a thing, but you know, when he's in front of my net, just yeah, go ahead, just let him, just let him score, dude. No big deal. Oh, bro, what is it with the German keepers? Like, I know Neuer and Terstegen are OP, bro, but I just can't get a goal in. I can't get a goal in today. It, it, it's just not happening. Kai, if you miss this, it's game over. There we go. Finally! Jesus! Finally we get a goal, and of course it's the king. There we go. Literally was not even looking at him. So I guess in that instance, like uh, blindly firing into the box with RB uh, helped me. I was actually looking at Moses' daddy, Simon. He's standing there wondering where the hell the ball was, why he didn't get credited for the goal because it should have been him. Actually, no, how could it have been? It was actually him taking it down the wing. Um, Timo Werner, Perisic. Ivan Perisic. Perisic lo va marcar. Penal! La ficha FIFA! Come on, bro! Atento, que desde ahí le puede pegar. Antoine Griezmann. Gran pelota! Surprise, surprise, happy surprise. Oh my dear God, dude. And now he's paused because he's upset. If there's one thing you're going to notice on Perisic, and you've probably seen it in a couple clips, 
He's got nut strength. <laughs> I legitimately feel like I went, I think I plugged into the Matrix. You know, you ever pull something off in FIFA that you don't feel like you deserve to have pulled off? Like, I, I know that I wanted a skill there. What do you think, I got octopus arms? In that instance, I did have octopus arms. <laughs> AI block was not able to do it, bro. Come on, boys! Ivan Perisic, 2-2. Simon doing what he does best. Kai Havertz to Moses Daddy Simon. Moses Daddy Simon to Ivan Perisic inside the box. It's no problem, dude. Listen to me, man. It's no problem, man. If you have the octopus arms, man, it's got no you got no problem here, okay? That's it. What a pass from Ivan Perisic, boys. Let's go. Ivan Perisic with the touch-perfect through ball pass to Timo Werner. And you know, dude, from that distance, player of the month, Werner's not going to miss it, dude. That's my boy Timo, boy. That is my bro Timo Werner. The burner turning on the afterburner. That's that sort of pretty performance you're looking for from the boy. He can't handle it, dude. 6-2. And there you have it, boys. I think we already know who the man of the match is going to be. I think he's got four, like three or four goals and a couple of assists. There he is. The mad lad himself, Ivan Storyline Perisic, wearing that beautiful Poland Independence Day kit. And uh, he walks off with that snowball. Was a very, very fun card to do. And again, the grind wasn't too crazy. And uh, I, I feel like you get you get a whole lot back for it. So in terms of value, again, the time-in component, I had fun playing on stream with you guys and just getting the XP done. So uh, in terms of value, I think it's a 4 out of 5. Obviously, we got Team of the Year coming up. Not expecting too many Bundesliga, if any Bundesliga cards, to get it based on how the voting usually goes. And then in terms of on-the-pitch performance, I'm going to say 4 out of 5 as well. The only thing, the only knock that I have on this Perisic card is the fact that he can at times feel a little bit clunky but then there's also times where he's doing skill moves where you're like holy smokes this guy feels like he has 99 agility he's a strong guy in game he's got the 78 strength which is again one of the reasons that i don't like using him as a winger i like to have that if i have a strength guy i want to play him up top or in the midfield where the where, in the trenches absolutely did bits for us but hopefully you guys have enjoyed you guys asked for it uh on stream yesterday and i thought you know let's do it for an epi didn't get any content today so it actually worked out perfectly if you guys did enjoy drop a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.